Hey guys, how's it going? I feel a bit cheeky doing this video, but uh, I just figured I'd brag a bit. Um, I'll just show you what I mean. I happen to repaint a few toys I have. If you follow me on Twitter, link in the description, you know I posted pictures of these when I first did it, but I figured I'd show YouTube eventually. This guy. Yeah, I'll do him first. So he was a Super Mega Force Green double battle action figure, as you can see, is now Super Mega Force Black. <laughs> Give me a second to explain. Now, if you have, if you've been watching Power Rangers or paying attention, you know that. In Megaforce, it was a black a black ranger suit. Couldn't figure out what to say there. It was a black suit. I don't feel like going to get mine, but I have one. But then in Super Megaforce, or Go Kyger, whichever you want to follow, it was a green suit. So in, when the transition happened, they gave no explanation at all why he went from black to green. He even asked, that if you watch the episode 1 of Super Mega Force, oddly titled Super Mega Force, the actor or the character asks, why is my key green? And the big Zordon replacement goes, yeah, we have an explanation and then cut to monster attack. So, yeah, I figured after seeing that, I'm going to need to make my own. And I did. You can see, he is all black all the time. Gimmick still works. If you don't know about the double bad action, this is it. He just shoots gut, he shoots people. So I figured this would be a pretty cheap, cool way to make a Super Mega Force black suit. Now, I use an acrylic paint, this stuff right here, and as you can see, it dried to a more matte black than I expected. Although. Admittedly, as much as I don't like this flat black, it is a nice contrast to the shiny pants and crotch of the under suit, the suit design. Oh, and right there. So you can see feet, right black, and the bottoms, even the backs. I did everything. Yeah, so you can see all the detail. It's not perfect. I've ran over some of the gold a bit. But it's as good as I can do. You can see some of the green still there in his sleeves. I don't feel like painting over silver, so. I did paint over this uh, Super Mega Force logo. Sorry. And then I had to wipe it off so I could just leave the black behind it because it was just a big splodge of green. Even the back. He's a very loose torso joint. But overall, it fulfills its purpose. It look, I think it looks pretty cool. You could probably do this yourself, but I don't care. This guy is somewhat unique. As for... Oh, that's not it. I have... Check out this Robo Knight! Damn it. Hold me here. Yes, this is a custom Robo Knight I did. If you've seen Megaforce, you know... His paint scheme is black, silver, bits of red. Give me 
second for the uninitiated. That's about what his suit looks like. So you can see how much different they truly are. I painted the silver bits gold, but well not painted technically. And all the black was actually painted silver. And the silver I did with or the gold. I did with this guy here. I don't have gold paint yet, but once I do buy gold paint, I will go all over the gold sections here so that they're permanent. Because even though this is permanent marker, just rubbing it, it comes off very easily. But this over. I use metallic silver here, acrylic paint, which I find, this is a weird concept, the silver dries to a very shiny metallic, because that's what it's supposed to, the black, even though the paint itself is very shiny and clear coat, or even though the black is this shade just sitting out in paint, when it dries, it dries so that really weird matte black, as you can see in the eyes, which were his only spots of green, which I decided to do black as a hint to what he used to be. And of course, he is the gimmick figure of the line, so it still works. It still works. I, d I wasn't particularly happy with how the original paint scheme of this Robo Knight figure was very boringly gray. So that was when I decided to, hey, paint it silver. And I screwed up a spot. You can see his black elbow. That's a problem. Excuse me. Well, I touch it up a bit. just so it looks a lot nicer. More consistent. I find myself constantly having to go over this guy and pick out spots that I missed originally. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. He's got tons of layers of paint on him. See, I'm doing it again. Just going over everything. God damn. I'm not the best painter. And it's probably boring for you, so I will stop in a right now. So there. Painted his elbow. It, I think this guy looks really cool. He really looks like a knight now, in my opinion. <laughs> Like so, like black and silver is all right. A paint scheme, it can, it's not. How do I say this? It's very boring if it's gray, but I like the contrast of the silver and gold as a more knightly paint scheme. So there's Robo Knight. You can just hang out down there. As I bring in the other guy that I've painted just today. You've probably seen him in my other video that I did, he was in. But he is the Operation Overdrive Rescue Response Mercury Ranger. And what did you, what did I do, you may ask? Well, frankly, he had no paint left on him when earlier today. It's, uh, how you can see. The back of the head, all the orange is worn off. All that uh, red there, I just painted today, 
all the black on the back. Uh, this, whoa, this thigh right in here had no pain at all. Like all the black had just worn off. And that's blatantly obvious with the overdrive or Bokinger symbol in his chest whichever you want to call it, has no paint anymore, and that was the whole figure in a nutshell. Very loose, and no paint left on him. So I figured I might as well return him to his former glory, and actually put on more paint apps than he originally had. I've been painting all over the silver to return it. If I eventually get an orange, I plan to paint in the orange lines on his suit, as they gave him so much detail. Uh, no, as you can see, he's probably had the most damage of all the action figures I have as my camera goes off. The horn broke off, the shoulder pads broke off, everything had no paint. But now, I think he looks a heck of a lot better. As I said, I plan to buy orange to fix him up even more. Maybe I'll super glue a horn on there, I don't know. But I think that about wraps up me bragging. It wasn't very braggy, I guess. But whatever. I figured I'd show you guys some figures that most of you probably won't have unless you're customizers. And damn you customizers. Although, customizers do a good job. But hey, that's me rambling on. Bye!